Pramila Jayapal, the wicked witch of the Pacific Northwest, the spokesperson for Hamas, is trying to walk back her comments on CNN yesterday where she said we needed balance between the accusations of rape and what Israel's doing to Hamas terrorists. Yes, when she downplayed the atrocities committed against women versus, you know, what Israel's doing and blowing up terrorists. So she prints this whole apology talking about how she's not equating the two and then proceeds to equate the two. I'm not even going to read this stupidity on air because it is mind-numbing nonsense. So then what happens is she has another opportunity today. So today, in the House of Representatives, they voted on a resolution condemning anti-Semitism and condemning anti-Zionism. She voted against it. In fact, 14 Democrats voted against it, and over 90 Democrats voted present, including three other representatives like Del Bene and a few others from the Washington Congressional District, by the way. Adam Smith voted for it. Give credit where credit is due. Adam Smith voted for it. But this insanity makes me absolutely sick. Makes me sick. Because they keep saying, oh, we stand with the Jews. Yeah, no, you're standing with Hamas. That's what's going on. So now they're all trying to clarify their remarks. So. The Wicked Witch of the Pacific Northwest says, we must be steadfast and clear in condemning anti-Semitism. Haven't really seen you do it yet, and over 20 Jewish institutions around your area have been targeted. The extreme GOP resolution on the floor today had no Democratic co-sponsors. That's a problem with your party, lady. And inappropriately said all anti-Zionism is anti-Semitism. Yes, that's true. Want me to prove it for you? Here we go. For those of you not in the know, you know what we say at the end of every single Passover Seder? Every single one. That thing that Jesus was at, you know, when that whole thing happened to? You know what we say at the end of every single one? Next year in Jerusalem. Do you know what we say at the end of every single Yom Kippur service, the holiest day of the Jewish year? Next year in Jerusalem. Our prayers, our actions are filled with Zionism. Being anti-Zionism is being anti-Semitic. But Ari, how can you criticize the Israeli government without being anti-Semitic? Watch. I'm going to do it right now for you. Here's how you do it. I want to know who is responsible for the intelligence failure that led towards October 7th. I want to know who's responsible for that. I want them fired. In fact, I want to know under Israeli law if they can be tried for their error. Boom! Just did it. I just criticized Israel's government without being anti-Semitic. Here, want to watch me do it again? That judicial reform thing that was going on before October 7th where people were fighting, I think that the Israeli government would have been better off talking to a bunch of people, creating a coalition around the judicial reform that didn't just involve the right-leaning parties, and then coming up with a solution so it didn't become their version of BLM riots in 2020. Boom! Done! Easy! I just criticize the I criticize our government for a living. That doesn't make me anti-American. This is what I do. Joe Biden sucks. Well, that doesn't make me anti-American. I just said it out loud. This ignorant witch speaks of what she does not know. And meanwhile, she continues to equate the atrocities committed by Hamas with Israel defending itself. Where are all the women libs groups? Where are all the feminists calling out the rapes? Oh, and by the way, this is the really, really messed up thing. I want you to think about this for a second. We are witnessing the classic three stages of leftists defending atrocities to confirm their own narrative. One, step one, no rape happened. Two, rape happened, but stop using it as an excuse to attack the perpetrators. Three, and they would say this, raping is actually good. Let me show you why. Which stage are we in right now? We're at two, but I actually would argue that the people on college campuses and the squad is at three. What are they chanting all the time? Resistance is justified when people are occupied. They are sanctioning it. They are supporting it. 
where are all the women's rights groups? Where's the Me Too movement? In fact, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said this himself today. The women's rights atrocities, sexual mutilation. Where the hell are you? Expect all civilized leaders, governments, nations to speak up against this atrocity. He's exactly right. He's exactly right. You want to know here how bad these testimonies are that are coming out now? If you have kids in the car, tell them to earmuff it for a minute. Here's the latest story. One of the hostages told Israel, told the Israeli government, told the people that rescued her, told the people that saved her. You know what she said? That she had to get an abortion because she was raped and is now in a mental institution because she can't handle what happened to her. Where are the women's rights groups? Where the hell are they? This is horrifying. This is horrifying. And that's not the only story like that. More and more are coming out every single day. In fact, it's becoming so obvious that even the BBC is covering that. The BBC, that never, ever, ever has a good thing to say about Israel, never, ever takes Israel's side. Even they're covering it.